hi um this is my first video on my second channel for kuda craft i'm so used to saying kuda crafter that's my first youtube channel it's all about paper crafting uh, if you guys want to check it out i'll put a link down in the description box to my scrapbooking channel um i haven't been posting a lot of content on that first channel uh for a while so you won't really see recent videos um but i decided to start this second channel could a crochet because i love to crochet and lately this last month i've been crocheting almost every day um i've made now i know this is going to be a haul video i will get to that don't worry but uh like i said this is my first video for this channel i wanted to just introduce myself just a little bit so you guys know who i am but um yeah so uh just examples um i do love to make crochet bags and this is i'm very proud of this piece because i made it without any patterns whatsoever um i love backpacks so i made a crochet backpack i know it doesn't look <laughs> good right now because um the string is a little bit long because I was just too lazy to cut it off later. I just decided to keep it on. But anyways, this is a crochet backpack that I made on my own. I have a button to it. Um, this is the bottom. And these are the straps in the back. There's a handle. So I'm very proud of this piece. Um, I wore it out to work. And a lot of my coworkers love it too. So... Um, I don't know when I'm going to do a video on this, but let me know if you guys are interested in a, um, what do you call it? Tutorial process video? Because I usually say process video when it comes to scrapbooking, so I guess tutorial on how to make this. So this is the first backpack I made, and then I experimented just a little bit on the second one, and I love how it, how it came out, the colors and everything. So... This is the second backpack that I made. Now I added some extra features to it. Like I made the bead. I bought a bag of wooden beads. Um, I think for like 10 bucks for like 200 something beads in different colors. So I added that. And then the uh, adjuster here. I bought a bag of this as well. I think 100 pieces, different colors for about the same price. And of course there's a button and this, the difference between this backpack and the other one is that this has full leather and I just added some crochet details on the side and I glued two pieces. So it's a little bit thicker. And of course it does have, um, hold on, let me take the straps out of the handle. So it does have a handle, of course, straps, and I used two different um, yarn on this one. This one has cotton yarn from Lily and Sugar. And the black and white one is the, they discontinued this yarn, but it's the Premier Rodeo yarn, um, which I have a whole bunch of because I love that yarn. <laughs> but I have to admit, it's kind of hard to work with sometimes. But um, anyways, don't want to get off topic. And also the bottom part has... Uh, faux leather as well um, it's double layered as well and um, I hole punched the bottom so I can crochet the um, bottom part so really love how this backpack came out and let me know if you guys want a tutorial on that as well because I did do the middle part different I did the puff stitch I think that's what you call it so anyways just wanted to show you what I can do. So I will be adding tutorial videos to this channel. Um, Cause I do have one crochet video in my other channel, which I got a lot of constructive, constructive criticism on. So um, I think I'm ready to have a crochet channel and hopefully my videos will be a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> so I will put a link to that crochet video if you guys are curious. I It was a simple string pouch 
that I, it was my own pattern uh, that I created. You'll understand why a lot of people commented that I talk too much. Because <laughs> that's one of the bad things, I guess, about me. I talk too much. But anyways, let's get into the actual haul video. So this is my very first Mary Maxim purchase. Um, I spent about $80. Um, I did, since it was my first purchase, I was able to use the free shipping code because their shipping is expensive. They're like 20 bucks, depending on how much stuff that you buy. So I'm really happy that I was able to get more yarns. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I got, especially when it comes to the mystery bag, which I will do last. So let's get this started. Um, so if you're curious, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a yarn wall like most crochet people. Uh, I hope I will one day, but that is the closest thing to a yarn wall. So you will be seeing that a lot in the background. Um, anyways, so I'm making a temperature blanket for my mom. And I was trying to look for the Karen Simply Soft green because I bought that green Karen Simply Soft yarn like pre-pandemic. And I had no idea it was discontinued. So I, I, I mean, later on after I purchased this, um, I was hoping this was the, cause I was trying to remember what color it was. And I thought it was the Kelly green. So I bought three packs of the Kelly green and it's a little too dark. So it's not the green that I wanted. And then I found out the green I have is discontinued. So I have three of these. Kelly Green, Karen Simply Soft. Um, I'm probably gonna use it for a different temperature blanket in the future. Uh, but yeah, I had to buy the green, like a different green yarn from Premier, uh, which I'll be getting later this week. Um, hopefully it's similar match, but if not, I'm just gonna use it. I can't keep buying green yarn. <laughs> so anyways, that's, um, I bought that and then I was super excited about this one, but I'm kind of disappointed in what they gave me. And I'm, and the reason why I said kind of, because, um, when I first saw it, it gave me some ideas to do some dyeing. So, um, I bought, this is $10. Oh, just so you know, the Karen Simply Soft yarn is $3.99 each on their website. This is, they call it unbanded cotton yarn on their website. It's 10 bucks for a pound. Um, so this is the back part. It's, it's not a pure white really, probably more of like an off white, but um, I'm still gonna use it of course. I, I just say, so you know, I've always been a cotton yarn crocheter. I love cotton yarn. That's what I love to work with, but I'm starting to appreciate other types of yarns, especially acrylic, but I'm still a little picky about acrylic yarns. But anyways, that's why I decided to get this because I love cotton yarn. But like there's some smaller pieces in here or smaller balls, so I'll probably test on those first, um, dyeing them because that would be neat if I need a certain color. I don't want to pay, you know, if, or I'm trying to save money for some reason, um, you know, just color one of these so uh on to more cotton yarn um it's a mixture between lily sugar and cream which is my favorite but i think my new favorite i have to say is from hobby lobby because their cotton yarn it's so soft so soft so i bought two of these um they call it warm brown. Uh, I don't really have a darker brown color cotton, so this would be nice to use in a backpack. Um, the other cotton, the, the brown cotton, cotton yarn I used for the first backpack, it's a different brand. Um, it's by Paint Box that I bought from Lovecraft, um, but the, the cotton yarn is a little bit thinner compared to Lily Sugar and Cream. So that's why I bought two of these, because I... When it comes to backpacks, I would prefer to use a thicker um, crochet or cotton yarn. 
So bought two of those, and then I think that's, I think the rest are the Premier. Now, this is the first time I purchased Premier cotton yarn, um, just out of curiosity. It's a little bit cheaper, too, so I'm, that's why I went with Premier yarn uh, for the colors that I needed. Um, I think they only charge, oh, so I think the Lily Sugar and Cream is $2.99 on their website. They're, the Premier ones are like $1.69 per ball, which is pretty good. Um, so just so you know, I, I'm still learning the terminology in the crochet world, like the whole DK uh, medium, like number four, number three, you know. So <laughs> at first you won't hear me talk about that stuff a lot. I'm just going to say like the brand, what color. Um, so yeah, anyways, I bought two of these um like i said this is the premier home cotton it's 131 yards or 120 meters 2.65 ounces it's actually 85 percent recycled cotton oh these are all recycled cotton oh, okay so 85 percent recycled cotton and 15 percent polyester and it's soft which i really like um so feels like a really nice recycled cotton and this is the color sage now on my camera it looks like it's a little bit lighter because uh, I changed the filter because my room's a little bit dark <laughs> so um, it, it is a little bit darker than what you see on the camera I think to me that's how it looks but it's a nice green color so bought two of those um, oh, let me get the other one out first so I bought two of these, um, these are called, this is the called Flamingo Splash. So there's like a splash of pink and white colors on this, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, so, cause I, there is another yarn, it's different, but I like the colors. So that's why I picked these particular col colors cause it'll be the third backpack I'm gonna make. So um, yeah, Flamingo Splash. And then I bought, well, let me do this one first. Um, unfortunately, they didn't, this was the last uh, moss, I think it's moss green splash color that they had left. I think they restocked because the last time I checked, um, it was back in stock. So um, I think one is enough for now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice splash of green cotton and then i bought four of these uh it's called eggplant uh so i bought four of these eggplant premier cotton yarn so now getting into the mystery bag which i am so happy with it i really really love it Now the mystery bag on their website is $30, which is to me a really good price for the amount of yarn that you're getting and the different kinds of yarns that you're getting. And they put it in this nice plastic bag. They do give you four uh, printed patterns that they add to the bag, which is really nice. And I don't know if they do this for all bags, but the patterns they gave to me, which I'll show you, um, they gave me two crochet patterns and two knitting patterns. So this is the first one. This is a crochet pattern. It's a really nice baby blanket, which I do plan to make as well this year because for my two nephews. So this is nice to have. And then this one is knitting. This is the hat and scarf pattern that they gave me now I have to say this is going to be mostly a crochet channel my knitting is uh, I can knit a dishcloth that's all I can <laughs> uh, that's knitting is something I really need to work on but um not anytime soon because I will be focusing more on crochet so this one I'm really happy about because I do have the rodeo yarns um I did see this on the premiere website 
and this is the log cabin blanket it's really nice but it's it's knitting it's a knitting pattern so um i might try this out when i do get back into knitting and then the last pattern that they gave me is the flutter by baby vest which i'm not sure i mean i guess it's good to have to keep in my stash of patterns in case i get a niece in the future um but it's not really a, it's not really a pattern i would make for a baby i mean i don't know I'm, i don't like to make baby clothes <laughs> i wouldn't make baby clothes for my niece i mean my nephews i wouldn't um i'd rather just do blankets and emigurumis and all that anyways getting into the good stuff so um the first one is the red heart classic acrylic it's 100 percent acrylic yarn this is the type of acrylic yarn i don't really go for i'm more of the karen simply soft it has to be soft i mean it's a little soft but not as soft as i would like it um but it's the red heart classic brand and this is the jockey red color um it's a medium four what's the yardage on this it's 3.5 ounces 100 grams 190 yards not too bad 174 meters um but yeah i mean it's nice to have in my stash just in case who knows what now these acrylic yarns i'm really impressed with um this is actually a mary maxim sorry if i'm a little bit closer to the camera i'm trying to hold the bat i think it's better if i let me hold on let me put it on the day bed so this is a mary maxim brand yarn it's the ultra mellow spun dk it's actually it's 70 por 70 percent acrylic and 30 percent nylon 174 yards or 160 meters and made in turkey but it is so soft it is really soft i actually um did a second mary maxim purchase which i'll be getting or i'll receive probably tomorrow um i did buy another <laughs> mystery bag because i loved it the first time and plus they had a i think it was free shipping if you spent over because that's the only time i'm going to be buying stuff from mary maxim is when they have like free shipping or like something like a really good sale like 50 percent off on all items or who knows what because that their shipping is really expensive like i said but anyways they gave me two of these um i think it's called top or it's dark top is that is that how you pronounce it is it top hey or is it top i don't know so it's, this is the dark top this, this is actually in their clearance section on their website they're charging only a dollar 99 per ball so that's a really great price if you guys are interested in getting yourself uh these now they gave me two of these so i won't show you the other because it's redundant um and then they gave me two of the light mauve so it's a really pretty purple color so i don't know exactly what i'm gonna actually these would be great for a temperature blanket because it's so soft and i love the colors so like i said i did buy more i think i bought like teal anyways i'll do another haul video for that one as well but um yeah these were in the mystery bag and this one guys this is my first type of it's a type of roving yarn i'm sure a lot of you know what roving is um and it's a beautiful look how beautiful i love let me tell you guys i am a variegated yarn crochet i love variegated yarns when i crochet i prefer variegated because it it makes me want to keep go going you know because you see the colors changing and i love that so this is actually rome this is called rome and it's by red heart and it's called it's the color scape uh type now i did google this to see if there's any stores that are selling this because i love this is really soft guys oh let me tell you um 
3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's 187 yards, 171 meters. Um, it's a medium four. So it's, oh, it's so soft, guys. It's so soft and so beautiful. I don't know what to make with this. I, I know there's a that, but I don't. I don't make those type of stuff really. Um, so this, I they gave me three of these, which is really nice. So um, I have to figure out what I'm gonna make this with. So on to so they did give me some baby yarn. Um, this one is unbanded. They gave me two more of them. So let me get the banded ones. I can tell you all the info. So it says Babe Soft Cotton Worsted. worsted. Um, I don't think Mary Maxim is selling this on their website anymore. And also the previous item, the Colorscape one, uh, they don't sell that. I think that's a discon discontinued item as well. Um, this is made in China, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 246 yards, 225 meters. Uh, 55% acrylic and 45% cotton so it feels really nice and I'm definitely going to be using this to make for my nephews because I'm going to be making two blankets for them for Christmas and I like the colors it's a nice uh, color scheme so they gave me three of these and then I was super happy about this. I don't usually buy cakes because to me they're a little bit expensive. Um, so I, I stay away from cakes and plus it's acrylic. Like I said, I'm not a big acrylic person, but I'm starting to appreciate them. So they gave me five of these uh, Line Brand Yarnado. Yarnado. So... <laughs> Um, it's in the color Blizzard. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's 3.5 ounces, 187 yards. It's 100% acrylic, but it's a nice acrylic. It's really soft. I didn't Google to see if they're still selling this Yarnado brand. I probably will later on, but five balls of these. That is such... Ugh, I love, I love this bag, guys. I hope you love it, too. Um, I definitely recommend getting a Mary Maxim mystery because 30 bucks is worth it. It really is. Um, especially if you're a beginner crochet, it, it's a great start um, to getting yarn. If you're not sure what type of yarn to get or who knows what. And it's also I think it's also it would be a really great gift too for those who know other people who like to crochet. 30 bucks for a bag of different yarns, different types of fibers. That's a, it's a really, really great deal. But yeah, I love the colors on these. Um, not really the yellow part. <laughs> I like these colors, but we'll see how it comes out. I'm not sure if I think I will most likely use this to make a blanket because I know a lot of people like to use these uh, cakes to make blankets. Um, but we'll see. But anyways, that is my Mary Maxim haul. I will be doing another two hauls another mary maxim haul and another premier yarn haul i hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you guys want me to post tutorials on those backpacks um and yeah so look forward to my channel anyways thanks for watching guys see you guys next time bye bye